we're about three weeks away from peak fall color and a lot of questions about whether we're going to see good colors or not. WCPO 9 first warning meteorologist Jennifer Ketchmark talk to the horticulturists at the Cincinnati Zoo to see if the fall colors are going to be a bust. I'm WCPO 9's Jennifer Ketchmark and we have had some wild weather over the last month. We went from extreme drought to hurricane remnants of Helene coming through dumping rain in the tri state. And now the question I'm getting from viewers like you is what is going to go on with our fall color? I know the weather side of things, but I wanted to hear from an expert here at the Cincinnati Zoo. Steve Foltz, you're the director of horticulture. So are we are we going to see a bad fall color season or do you think we're going to do OK? Um, I'm an optimist. I, I think like the it. weather is going to be fine. It's cool at night and the sun shines out. The, uh, but some of the trees that we have that always have great fall color are probably going to have great fall color, and especially in the neighborhoods. Okay. Uh, obviously, if you went, if you're in a really droughty area, and your leaves are all kind of curled and crispy, you're not going to get the fall color. Yeah, I've seen some trees in my neighborhood that like just look like they're done. They're already dropping. So those are done for. But it's right. the maples. What other kind of trees should we be looking for? A lot of maples and oaks mm -hmm. uh, are going to have great fall color. Ginkgo is one of those ones. And, and especially if you come to the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden or Spring Grove Cemetery, some of the arboretums in town, uh, that is beautiful fall color. And I'm expecting uh, good fall color out of those trees. Now, you mentioned hillsides. What, what's kind of special about that as well? Well, you know, uh, overall, when you look at the hillsides as you drive into Cincinnati, it, it really depends on the type of tree and how dry it really, really was on that hillside. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, again, depending on where you go, um, some of us didn't experience the extreme drought that we had here. But if you go a little further, um, you know, north, maybe it's not so bad. So. It's just hit or miss. Yeah, and really any year, there is always right. a variety of color, a variety of conditions, and it really kind of comes down to the next three weeks, right? Because those are really the critical conditions for color. Right, right. And, and like you said, my, my favorite is the, the sugar maple. It has that orange fall color, and then individual trees in neighborhoods with the red maples with that fire engine red fall color. You're going to see great trees throughout the city. All right. Well, Steve, good to know that we're not done when it comes to the fall color, and we've got plenty to come still. Of course, we'll keep you up to date daily on that forecast and let you know if we get those warm days and cool nights. From WCPO 9, I'm Jennifer Ketchmark. That's the latest here from the Cincinnati Zoo.